So this is the place? Looks like kind of a dump. You'd think the biggest rum runner in Cuba would be operating out of somewhere more... refined. Things work differently down here. Not everybody is as flashy as Fatty Walsh. What was our guy's name again? Jesus, Banks, I ain't your personal secretary. It's Manny Morales we're looking for. Try to keep it in your head this time, would ya? Now enough jawing. Let's find this guy, make the deal, and get out of here. This whole island always gets me riled up. Butch, let's talk a minute. What is it? You know anything else about this Morales guy? I've heard the boss mention him a couple of times, but aside from what I already told you, nothing. Do you think he knows we're coming? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Why does everything we do have to be so opaque? Because if you go shouting your business from the rooftops, there's a good chance you'll wind up getting clipped. You okay? You seem a bit more on edge than usual. I told you, Havana and I got some history that ain't so great. Care to elaborate? Not particularly. Look, I'll be fine. Once we finish, I'll just pop another sedative for the flight home and everything will be swell. You mentioned you got sedatives? Could I have one? Do I look like some kind of dope peddler to you? No, I just thought having one might come in handy. Planning on slipping someone a mickey, are ya? Okay, I'm not gonna judge. Knock yourself out. That isn't quite my plan, but thanks. Let's get back to it. Pardon me, miss. What do you need, darling? May I ask what it is you're waiting for out here? Clients. Clients? What's your business exactly? Oh, you Yankees are so cute. She's a streetwalker, kid. Surprised you couldn't tell from a mile away. Oh, I see. You got any plans for tonight? Uh, afraid so, miss. Too bad. Anything you can tell me about Havana? It's the city where I grew up. You want a tour, you came to the wrong place. But if you want a good time that you can't get back in your country, you came to the right bar. Do you happen to know Manny Morales? Who is asking? I don't think you need to know those details, young lady. Suffice to say, we're here on business from Miami. I see. I didn't think you looked like a regular tourist. You're here to make a deal on the rum, aren't you? How did you... You and your friend talk very loudly. Mr. Morales' office is behind the side door inside the bar. But he won't just let you in. He's very paranoid. You must give a password if you're going to get inside. And do you know this password? I might. I might even be able to tell you what it is for the right price. Name it. There is a man inside the bar. His name is Umberto. You'll recognize him by his stylish dress sense. He procured my services last week and still has not paid. Get my money from him and I'll tell you the password. Thank you for your time. See you later, handsome. Mind if I join you for a moment? Not at all. Please, have a seat. The name's Alfie Banks, by the way. Humberto Suarez. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Banks. You seem like a man with taste. You in here regularly? I am, yes. I find this place is an excellent spot to unwind. Aside from that, we get many tourists like yourself in here, which gives me the chance to practice my English. Can you tell me anything about Manny Morales? I see him in here regularly, but I've rarely spoken with him. People of that sort are not the type I wish to associate with. I'm sure you understand. I had a little chat with the girl outside. She says you owe her some money. I'm sure I have no idea what you are talking about. Is that so? Mr. Banks, if you wish to come in here and join me for drinks, that is one thing. But to blatantly insult my honor by implying that I would hire that floozy? Relax, it was just a question. I meant no harm by it. <laughs> Listen, I feel bad about what I said earlier. Can I make it up to you by getting you a drink? I won't say no to that. What are we drinking? Some whiskey, perhaps. An interesting choice. Arturo, try me those whiskeys.
Thank you, Mr. Banks. That was quite enjoyable. If you'd like to have some more, I will not say no. Mind if I join you for a moment? Not at all. Please, have a seat. How about we have another drink? Excellent. What are we drinking? How about some gin? Hmm, not one of my preferred choices, but I will indulge your tastes. Arturo, dos ginebras! Enough talk for now, Mr. Banks. Let us drink! Thank you, Mr. Banks. If you'd like to have some more... Butch, let's talk a minute. What is it? Butch, I need you to help me out with a distraction. What do you need me to do? Get Umberto's attention while I'm sitting at the table. I'll give you the signal when I'm ready. Okay, I'll be waiting. Let's get back to it. Mind if I join you for a moment? Not at all. How about we- Excellent. How about some of your finest Cuban rum? Now you are speaking my language. I guarantee you'll taste no finer rum anywhere else. Arturo, dos rones por favor. Excuse me, do you speak o the English? I want el drinko, pronto. Really? Such rudeness! What is this? There is something in my drink! What? Are you sure? Mr. Banks, I can clearly see through the liquid. Did you do this? No, of course not. <sighs> that Arturo needs to clean these glasses better. I'll have him take the drinks away for now. Butch. What is it? Butch, I'm your lucky. Let's get back. Mind if I... Not a... How about... X... Some whiskey... An inter... Arturo! Listen up, Meng. I want a drink. Do you even understand, oh, what I'm saying? Really? Such rudeness. Thank you, Mr. Banks. That was quite enjoyable. If you'd like to have some more... This is what Umberto was carrying. I hope it's enough to settle his debt. Eh, it will have to do. If you want to get into see Morales, just knock on the door and tell whoever opens the slot that Rosalinda sent you. Got it. Thank you. Rosalinda sent me.
Well, this don't look so good. What the hell happened here? Looks like our friend got himself a bad case of lead poisoning. He doesn't look like he's been dead very long, but I didn't hear any shots. Something ain't right here. This has set up written all over it. I'll have a look around, see if I can find anything that might tell us more. So Morales at least knew Fatty existed. Maybe he was expecting us. Hmm, these windows are the only other possible way out of here, and they're both locked. Someone beat us to the punch, it seems. So Morales was meeting with someone already, even though he knew about Fatty. Wait a minute. Butch, we've been so wrapped up in figuring out what happened that we forgot the most obvious question. If Morales was already dead when we got here, then who opened the door? Gentlemen, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. But the Havana rum running trade is currently under new management. Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm the new boss. Same as the old boss, I'd wager. Be quiet, Yankee. Why did you kill Morales? It was time for a change of the business. He held a monopoly on rum export for far too many years now. Not giving others like me a chance to shine. I would say that was rather unfair, wouldn't you? We came here to make a deal on behalf of Fatty Walsh back in Miami. Yes, I know this. I'm sorry, but as the new head of the business, I will have to politely decline your offer. I don't think Fatty will be too pleased by that. That's not my problem. I have more reputable clients I can deal with. Walsh is nothing to me. You sure about that, Chico? Please, put the gun away. There is no need for this nonsense. There will be no deal with Walsh. That is final. Now please, be on your way before I... What did you do that for? The asshole deserved it. Now let's get out of here before these Cubans start asking questions. This is just great. Another assignment gone to pot. You really need to work on that itchy trigger finger of yours, Butch. Look, I said I was sorry. Is that what we're supposed to say to Fatty? Sorry, we couldn't make the deal because Butch shot the guy in the face? Thanks, I'm really starting to... Gentlemen, please. I've heard married couples bigger or less than you two. Stay out of this, would you? Fine. If you want to go back to your boss of failure, I will. What are you talking about? The man who went in and killed Morales was Rogelio Vargas, the only other major rum runner in town. His takeover attempt has been a long time coming. The other night, Morales told me about his meeting with Fatty Walsh's men. I knew Vargas hated Walsh and would make his move if he knew about the deal. So I tipped him off. Vargas took care of Morales, and you took care of Vargas, as I expected. So you played us all? But why? Isn't it obvious? There is now a vacancy in the bootleg rum trade. You can go home and tell your boss I'll be happy to open up a route for him. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, how about that? Let's go, Butch. I'm starting to see why you and Havana don't get along. So, we still on for next week, Rosa? Wouldn't miss it for anything, handsome.